Well, now I'm going to try to fix this project that I fucked up in the first place. This is just a little situation I got brewing here. I'm going to give these markers all a quick, really light sanding. Maybe a little bit more of a sanding on the ones I tried to paint the first time. But I'm going to go with just trying to color match the car. I don't know how this is going to turn out. Worst case scenario, I'm going to have to buy all new side markers. But it's worth the price. I don't mind fucking up a little bit. I do it all the time. So we're going to put some primer on there. We're going to paint these bad boys with color match paint. And we are going to go over this with some clear. Try to make it look as good as possible. We got the uh, B5 Beauty hanging out there. So this is the little workstation I got going on here. I uh, went out and picked up 1,500, 2,000 and 2500 grit sandpaper I'll let them soak in there and um go here that's my little Yorkie 12 years old cataracts diabetes still the strongest little beast uh, this is what I'm just like halfway done with the 1500 grit compared to what it did look like obviously just want to get that down I might skip the 2000. Let's see how it looks. Just want to prep the surface real good. This way the bonding primer works. I don't know much about much with these primers and all this shit, but I was reading. Seems like this is going to be good. So we'll see. Just wanted to show this real quick because I didn't have a chance to do it last time, but that's how these things are attached. Just basically poke holes. And they stand up pretty good. I sanded everything down. So everything's got a slight matte look. Um, just going to go over this with primer now. See how it looks. And then try to put some top coat on these beasts. This is just a small clip. I would have kept the audio in. But my fiance was playing country music. And I don't need a copyright claim. <laughs> this is just showing you know, the bonding primer going on. Uh, laid down pretty smooth and that was a little test run right there with the B5 blue. These are coming out pretty bombastic. I only got two coats on there so far but I think it's gonna look pretty sweet. We'll see. So this is what this is gonna look like now. So far we've got quite a few coats but Paint is definitely nice. You can still see the Mopar writing on the glass. I ended up having to redo redo this. So far, this isn't bad. Going on a lot better. I had to sit here with xylene, which smells like complete ass. Thank God I had little respirator mask things. So, as you can see, came out pretty nice. I'm just putting the front markers back in. I don't have my little tripod thing, so this might be a little shaky. So far though, I think that came out pretty banging, dude. Let me see. All I put on were the two. Come on, that's that's pretty damn spot on. This is the finished product. I think the color match came out pretty spot on. Certain angles you can't even tell. As you can see. Got a lighting issue, but I mean, it's pretty good. I'm much happier with this. This look is great. I mean, obviously the camera might pick up a distinct difference in coloring or something, but as far as paint goes, it's spot on. The only difference might be one surface is a little bit glossier. You can see how close I have to park. It's 
car is a freaking behemoth. But one, one spot might be a little bit glossier just because it's, you know, car paint and, you know, I might end up glossing them one day. But the gloss I had, I uh, did a test spray on another side marker I had and it kind of like ruined. So I'm glad I didn't do anything, but as far as finish goes, it's pretty awesome and I'm very happy with it. I think it looks a hell of a lot better than the stock look and it's different. It's not just blacked out or, you know what I mean? It's not, it's not normal. So there's a side marker delete. Another little project done. I've got quite a few more little things coming for this car. I'm about to order a couple little things and I'm just gonna keep posting more videos. And from the looks of it, we just hit 50 subscribers, which is kind of funny. I know all these channels talk about their little achievements here and there, but this is a very big achievement for me. 50, 50 people wanting to see my nonsense. Most likely 50 people wanting to see this B5 Beauty, but, you know, eventually we will keep posting, posting, posting more content, more gun related stuff, car related stuff, drones, vacations, point of view, mountain biking, I don't really care. I just want to do a bunch of different things. So, you know, we're going to turn this into a good channel. So, that's it.